How to find the best sober living near you. The role of sober living programs in recovery from addiction is to provide a safe, supportive, and sober environment for recovering addicts. They are not confused with halfway houses that are usually short term and transitional. Sober living communities offer a supportive environment and an opportunity for addicts to live as they would in the outside world. They also provide access to counseling, therapy, and addiction treatment programs. Before participating in a sober living program, you must understand the regulations, ask questions, and agree to follow the guidelines established by the facility. The notion of acts and consequences is crucial in sober living programs. Whether you live in a sober living facility or a sober living program, your behaviors have repercussions. You may be required to pay a fine, add more responsibilities to your schedule, or leave the house. Not only is your sobriety at stake, but so is the sobriety of others. It is challenging to learn how to live with other people recovering from alcohol or drug misuse. You must choose the best sober living scenario for you. Aftercare from rehab is the foundation of your long term sobriety. Depending on your circumstances, you may need the services of a sober living program before you require rehab aftercare. You may be eligible to live in a sober living program before being discharged from treatment in certain situations. Sober living programs are a viable alternative to traditional housing. These initiatives promote sobriety. People in sober living programs support one another in their efforts to live a drug and alcohol free life. The whole purpose of the program is to assist you in abstaining from alcohol or drugs. What does sober living entail? To various individuals, Sobriety might mean different things. In essence, it is the absence of any detectable amounts or effects from alcohol or drugs. Some organizations, such as Alcoholics Anonymous, AA, describe sobriety as having excellent mental health. To many, this seems to be a more practical approach to recovery than avoiding alcohol or drugs. So what does sober living entail? Sober living communities are a step up from traditional halfway houses in that they offer their residents more of a sense of community than the halfway house setting. In other words, they have more social support and resources available to them than a traditional halfway house setting. On the other hand, a typical sober home will provide addiction recovery services for its residents. Still, it might not have as many resources as a distinct, sober living community. To transition from an addict's life to a clean one, professional treatment, the support of friends and family, and an individual commitment are all required. As many have said, it will not be simple, but it will be worthwhile. Many individuals try to sober up on their own and repeatedly fail, thus, it is recommended that therapy be sought to offer you a greater chance of reaching recovery. The prospect of going to treatment may put off many individuals. Still, there are several degrees of treatment to meet any requirement, and it is much preferable to take a break from your daily life to set yourself on the right track than to continue suffering from your addiction alone. The following are the critical parts of life in recovery, according to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA. Constant Expansion Drug and Alcohol Abstinence Better Health Continued Advancements in Well-Being and Mental Health Enhanced quality of life. Sober living is refraining from mind-altering substances, such as alcohol, prescription medicines, and street narcotics. It is a day-by-day -day procedure that demands you to concentrate on the now rather than being overwhelmed by the long term. A clean life is always preferable to one spent battling addiction. You'll have greater clarity, concentration, and drive and you'll gradually begin to rebuild your connections so that you may continue to live as a productive part of society. It may be challenging to appreciate the true worth of a sober life at first. Many recovering addicts may praise the glory days of drug misuse, believing that their lives were more enjoyable. Sober life, on the other hand, may be satisfying. Here are just a few of the advantages of living a sober life. Improved sleep Diet is beneficial. Weight is maintained. More leisure time, more money, and more savings. Better memory, stronger connections, more energy, and more fun. Productivity rises. 
keeping sobriety in recovery. You may do various things in recovery to help you remain clean. Here are a few pointers to get you started. Make sober buddies. If you want more responsibility, consider living in a halfway house. Each day should be taken as it comes. Learn how to spot a relapse. Aftercare programs are another resource for recovering addicts. It integrates life skills training, relapse prevention approaches, and other therapies in these programs to assist folks in recovery rediscover pleasure and purpose in their lives. Sober living homes operate differently than treatment institutions. They do not organize therapy sessions, but they do promote them. Rehab, not sober dwellings, is where people go to detox. They don't plan planned activities, but living in a home with individuals with similar beliefs gives more opportunity to occur spontaneously. If you go to a sober house, you may share a room with one or two other individuals who all have the same aim. It's simply a different sensation to live in a sober home. Not only do you get to stay longer, but you also receive the skills to figure out how you want to spend your life outside of treatment and addiction. Furthermore, you will be living with a group of people who are also pursuing the same objective and will be able to hopefully prop you up and assist you out when you need it. It is challenging to live a life free of addiction. It is considerably more challenging to do it alone. This is the goal of these sober living centers. They aim to create a space where the pressures of everyday life are reduced, and old habits are replaced with new, healthier ones. Addiction is often a second-rate condition, which implies it results from anything other than just being hooked. These issues will linger even after someone has been sober. Sober homes enable those persons to attempt to work out what they need to figure out without the constant presence of alcohol. 10 Reasons Why You Should Consider a Sober Living Community for Your Recovery Right Now The longer time you spend in treatment, undergoing continuous counseling, and engaging in an aftercare program, the higher your chances of long-term recovery. After therapy, one option is to reside at a sober living home. Many individuals are concerned about living in a sober living house because they have preconceived views that are probably not realistic. Here are 10 reasons you should reside in a sober living home after recovery. 1. Because it was recommended to you. The basis of 12-step fellowships is collaboration. Another issue that the alcoholic-slash-addict assists with is another alcoholic-slash-addict. As a result, recommendations are based on personal experience and knowledge passed down from those before you. Many individuals in recovery would agree that living in a sober living house following treatment is an attractive option. The following explanations will explain why you should live in a sober living home after rehab in more detail. 2. To preserve your life. Clinical studies demonstrate that persons who opt to live in sober living homes following rehab and get continuous therapy have a far greater chance of success in the long run. Furthermore, Individuals living in a sober living home continue to participate in aftercare at a considerably greater rate. 3. To ensure accountability. Sober living homes provide greater flexibility while maintaining a degree of structure for folks who have just exited the highly controlled atmosphere of an inpatient program. Sober living homes have norms and restrictions that their occupants must adhere to. These include overnight curfews, random drug tests, weekly meeting quotas, and working. This is a much better option than releasing you back into the wild without any form of assistance. 4. For peer assistance. Living in a sober community provides something valuable to individuals in early recovery, peer support, which cannot be purchased. Peer support advantages include the ability to hold one another responsible, work together to schedule meetings, and go on errands together, to mention a few. There are others, just like you, who are striving for the same goal, long-term sobriety. 5. It's a terrific first step toward acquiring your own house. The sober living home is excellent for assisting you in re-entering society. Moving to a sober living house gives a solid setting where you may start building your financial well-being from the ground up. You are not required to pay bills or come up with all the funds for the first and final month's rent. Some sober living homes may even take insurance to assist pay your rent while you re-enter the employment. 6. Additional treatment and assistance. Depending on the sober living home, 
there are varying degrees of drug treatment. Some approved and more supportive sober living homes provide ongoing therapy and the need for social behavior and participation at 12-step meetings. Meetings are often conducted at the sober living house on specified evenings. Other aftercare programs, such as IOP and social education classes, are available at particular sober living homes. 7. They also give a secure atmosphere. Again, sober living homes have rules and restrictions, no tolerance for drug usage while a program resident. People who do not take their recovery seriously and continue to use it will be booted out of the home. Random drug testing is used to enforce this. This is a safer atmosphere than, for instance, striking out on your own after therapy by renting an apartment among ordinary people who may expose you to alcohol and drugs. 8. You don't have a sober support network at home. In other situations, patients seeking therapy may travel far from home, such as to another state. In these circumstances, it is advised to stay in a sober halfway house for a short time before returning home to create a heavy network in both locations. It's just as crucial for individuals who went to therapy locally to follow the advice to reside in a sober living home before returning to your daily routine of where you were living before treatment. It's critical to give oneself the most excellent chance of success imaginable. 9. Because you are afraid of leaving therapy. This is institutionalized, which indicates that you feel indifferent and dependent after being in an institution, such as inpatient treatment. Some individuals are afraid of leaving rehab because they don't know how to behave outside or live without drugs and alcohol since they've been so used to using substances to cope with life. Moving into a halfway house will provide you with a safety net as well as a template for starting a new life in recovery. 10. You have a track record of relapsing. If you have a history of relapse, you should not hurry back home. Whereas treatment is where healing starts, rehabilitation continues after you are back in your community. In therapy, you learn how to create more robust coping techniques, in a sober living house, you get to put these tools to work all while receiving peer support, accountability, and structure to help you succeed. What are the costs involved with a sober living? Many drug rehab programs offer affordable rates but finding one that is right for you can be challenging. You may find yourself looking for the best drug rehab program in your area and not knowing what to look for. There are many different factors to consider when looking at the cost of these programs, and it's important to know what they are before you decide which ones to enroll in. Sober living houses are often self-sustaining dwellings, which means that residents are responsible for sharing the expense of living. Because all tenants share the expenditures, they may be less expensive than living alone. For example, if the rent for a four-bedroom house is $1,200 per month, this equates to about $300 per person, including utilities. The cost of sober living houses varies depending on where they are situated, but monthly prices often run from $450 to $800, not including incidentals. Most are on a private pay basis. However, others may be linked to public resources or charity institutions. An addiction treatment clinic may often give references and information about nearby sober living homes, as well as their special pricing. Addiction is an isolating illness with several social consequences, including homelessness. Some people in recovery may realize that they live in an environment that makes it difficult to abstain from drugs and alcohol. Consequently, sober living homes may provide a critical requirement for effective recovery, a secure and stable place to live surrounded by people who have the same sobriety objectives and expectations. The following costs should be considered while looking for a sober living home. Water, gas, heat, and electricity are all available for rent. Sewer or garbage collection. Transportation. Food and living expenditures in general. Sober living residences are primarily privately owned group homes in calm communities that provide peace and tranquility. They generally only house a limited number of individuals, and the numbers are frequently predetermined. Individuals living in a sober living home must follow a set of house rules, which may include curfews, guest limits, task expectations, and, in many instances, drug testing to assure continuous abstinence. 
The people who reside in the house may make the rules collaboratively, but most homes have a leader who ensures the rules are followed. People frequently split housekeeping and duties between themselves, which helps residents develop self-reliance and independence. These transitional housing communities may provide respite from the natural world stress while still providing members with continuing assistance, encouragement, and pleasant social connections. People at sober living homes are typically at various stages of recovery. They may provide hope and advice on avoiding relapse or returning to drug and alcohol misuse. This kind of social support may be very beneficial to long-term sobriety. Individuals may return to work while living in a sober living home and attend support group meetings, therapy and counseling sessions, educational, aftercare, and alumni programs. Many sober living facilities enable residents to remain as long as they need to before returning home and integrating into society, however, others may have time constraints. Individuals might benefit from a supportive network and a stable living environment in sober living homes. This helps individuals build on the foundation laid down during an addiction treatment program, increasing the likelihood of long-term recovery. How to choose a perfect sober home that meets your needs and budget. A sober living home is typically the best next step for folks who have just finished treatment or relapsed. In these homes, you may receive the help you need, as well as accountability and structure, to remain on track with your recovery. Choosing a sober home might be challenging, especially if you are unsure of what you want. But don't worry, this post will provide you with valuable hints to assist you in choosing the best match for your rehabilitation requirements and budget. However, with so many homes scattered around the nation, it may be challenging to select the ideal one to care for you or a loved one during this difficult time. You may want to think about these suggestions based on your choices. Keep your location in mind. When selecting a sober living home, location is significant since it will serve as your home base for all of your life's activities. First and foremost, these properties should be in a secure neighborhood that benefits your recovery. Simultaneously, you must check that the sober living home is near your school or workplace, recovery meetings, grocery store, and healthcare providers. You might begin by searching for one online using location specific keywords like Sober Living Oakland. California. This easy exercise will provide you with a list of all the Oakland, California, sober living homes. You may start by making a list of these names and working your way down it. Exercise Caution When searching for a sober living home, it is critical to do adequate due diligence. It should offer a secure and protected atmosphere and the support services you will need on your journey to recovery. When compiling your list, be confident that the sober living home is licensed to operate as a de addiction facility. They should also have a reputable management team and provide the best level of care. They should ideally be supported by well-known organizations as well. Make an in-person visit. Before committing to a sober living home, do not rely just on the internet. Instead, pay a personal visit to the facility. Check that the facility is nice and clean that the personnel is pleasant, and that the setting is welcoming. Depending on your needs, you should feel at ease enough to remain for days or months. You may also speak with current residents to determine whether they are happy. If you cannot visit the location in person, you should check internet reviews and base your decision on what others have said. Inquire about the regulations for residents. When you are happy with the facility, you may inquire about the regulations and requirements for residents with the management. Is there a sober coach or peer accountability at the sober living home? Do the residents take part in rehabilitation programs? Do they do random drug testing, and so on? These are just a few of the numerous considerations you should make when selecting a sober living home to guarantee that you leave clean and ready to start your life on the right track. Give us a call right away if you or someone you know is a recovering addict trying to adjust to a sober life. Our team can assist clients in analyzing what is preventing them from recovering and teaching them coping techniques to help them rediscover pleasure in sober life.